What are your expectations out of this uh, literally three-way summit? Well, the expectation is that we raise our ambitions here in North America. We're a very important trading bloc, and we're one that really have, uh, has a lot of untapped potential. Yes, we have USMCA, former NAFTA, but really there is so much more we can do. And I'm very happy to see coming out of the meeting today a sense of wanting to align industrial policy. So enhance manufacturing, but across the continental space. So, Luz, I need to ask you, uh, this whole thing about cooperating on uh, semiconductors, uh, uh, right, what, what uh, specifically would, would Canada bring to the table? Well, you know, on, on semiconductors, they, the United States passed the CHIPS law bill last, last year, as well as the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. It did so really without consulting both Mexico and Canada. So we, of course, went back and said, listen, you will not be able to achieve your objectives in this area if you don't have uh, Canada and Mexico to supply you with rare minerals, for example, which is uh, extremely important in semiconductors as well as in batteries. So this is a message that we've been taking to the United States for the past year. And I think what we're seeing today is the result of this conversation bearing fruit. Louise, NAFTA's replacement, uh, USMCA, Trump era free trade deal, does that help or hinder uh, the resolution of this uh, major ongoing uh, dispute over energy between uh, Mexico and uh, the US and Canada? I think that in a relationship as intensive as the one that we have within uh, North America, you're always going to have a few areas where you don't agree. The important thing is to have mechanisms to have those conversations and the one that the, we have invoked that mechanism in the case of the energy uh, nationalization efforts in, in Mexico. And the sense that we have at this moment is that the Mexican government is listening. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to solve the problem overnight, but I think we're getting through with telling them that we can be part of the solution. We, Canada is a uh, the most important investor in energy infrastructure in Mexico. And we want to continue to do that because bringing affordable, clean energies to Mexicans is something that is a priority to this, uh, to this president in, in Mexico.